Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and we have a little bit of a different setup here just because um, I've had some uh, folks wanting to see how I update my weeks um, with everything. And usually I do it um, either at night or I take one or two days and uh, combine one or two days. And um, this is the... Uh, the Bunny Weeks, which um, is the Thai fabric. Um, and I have it in a Hobonichi Weekly Cover. That's the Maverick Leather. And I love this so much. Oh, oh love it. And uh, I got that in the order with my um, uh, Daphne. Uh, but this is the updated weeks that... I had to switch to when tears spilled coffee all over my other one. So, I don't think I've gone through April and May so far with you guys. So, this is what April ended up looking like. And this is May. And I still need to update this week. Um, and a lot of times, I will do this daily. But um, this has just been kind of a crazy week. So, I'll pull it out of my cousin Evac and update it here. Just kind of putting, uh, like, um, and this is my pen from, uh, I believe, the March uh, Coco Daisy box. But, like, on Tuesday, uh, this was my first yoga class of the semester. And it's 5.30 to 6.20. And uh, then I played Seven Days to Die with my friend and then uh i also did seven days to die last night and today oh i also made dinner um and i did shepherd's pie but instead of most of the mashed potatoes it was um 75 percent cauliflower and um five small potatoes mixed in with that and i make it a big casserole dish and it was almost all vegetables. There was hamburger in it, but um, it was three different bell peppers, yellow, orange, and green, or no, I'm sorry, orange, red, and green peppers. And then I had a half of an onion and two containers of mushrooms and then a pound of hamburger and mixed all of that up for the, for the bottom level of it. And then I layered it with cheese and then I put the cauliflower, or as I put it, call, call it tater, a mixture in the top and then sprinkled it with cheese and it actually turned out really really good and Greg really liked that um so I put that in there and I'll fill all of that in um going through that uh and then it will all actually end up looking like this so I have just kind of a reference as to just little things as to what happens that week um and then uh I will Go in here. So this is where it's April started, April 1st here. And just um, the things that uh, make me happy. And then my orders and shipments received are here. And um, then I'll usually mark what I've done for finding 52 here on the week. But then I will also mark it here on the side here on the notes. So I know what I've done for finding 52 each week. So as um, for those of you who don't know, that is my weekly challenge to spend one hour at least doing something outside of my normal self-care that is just an hour for me. So finding 52 hours in an entire year to do something specifically and only for me. Um, so uh, then I've just got that all noted here. And these are how I note the weeks. Um, did Amer watched American Gods. I was using these tiny little flags for my fasting, but at, towards the end of April, I actually started doing 12-hour um, fasting every night. So I stopped using those. Here, I'm using the Mother of Dragons and the little dragon um, uh, onesies and for uh, Game of Thrones last season. And so the darker one I find is Heimdall. The, the lighter one is Tyr, and I am Daenerys, mother of cat dragons. 
And, um, but this is how I track my self care. And this is where I mostly use, um, stickers. So, uh, I use a large number of the Coffee Monsters Co. stickers and once more with love. And then I also have some Planner Kate mixed in as well. And then whatever other sticker I feel like I want to use. And I'll usually use some washi tape towards the bottom. And, uh, so this is the third week in April, the 16th week. And, um, here, tear got out for 45 minutes and scared the bejesus out of me. But, and it was the day before his birthday. I was like freaking out. I'm like, I am not going to lose my cat the day before his birthday. But he came back 45 minutes later and yes, it was a very stressful time for me. I was crying and I was like, oh, where's this cat? So, um, and then this is, uh, the last week in April and this is the first week in May. And this is where I noted that I got my Chic Sparrow A5 Daphne and my weekly, um, oh, I got those ordered there and I was a bit salty there. Uh, the, um, oh, I got my Kylie Reichman folders, which I will show you guys in a minute. And this was my new moon tarot reading. And as of tomorrow, I'll do a full moon tarot reading. But as you can see, the format over here doesn't really change too much. Sometimes these things change as to things that make me happy. And it just depends on what my mood is and what I want to add in there. Um, but uh, this was last week. And I got my, I, my Chic Sparrow order arrived. So that is um, me with the Maverick. And then my Daphne, and I made it look as much like my Daphne as I could. So, and then my Maverick, I kind of, if you can kind of see, I kind of colored it in brown and put in the little crackles and stuff. Um, and then uh, my order for um, the Kylie Reichman, and it's the Day of the Dead set. And it's the Day of the Dead um, pen holder that she has not had in the had before. So this is a new design that she's done. And then my week's um, Day of the Dead folder, which I am loving. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love this thing. And I'll show you that here in a minute. But I also have a pocket um, one with daisies coming. Um, and I just got the shipment today. Uh, notice today. And today's Friday the 17th. So... I know that that'll probably be here on Monday. So, um, but this is just kind of how I just go through and do it. And, you know, I purchased my ticket for the candy shop um, in Portland, October 11th and 12th. Um, and I ended up calling in sick that day because I had hives. And while this is a sunburn munchkin, I when I get hives, and some of you guys might have noticed um, in my last video... Uh, when I did the swag bag, my neck was all red, and it's that's part of what the hives were. So, um, and that was the awesome swag bag that I got, my um, Women of Steel 5K, and then catching up on everything and getting a pedicure. And uh, this, my Finding 52 for last week was, um, I binge-watched and went through One Bike, One World's Instagram account, and it is the story of Dean and Nala. And Nala is uh, this beautiful little kitten that Dean found um, out in the middle of nowhere in Bosnia. And he, One Bike, One World, he is, uh, his name is Dean. And he has been biking across several nations in Europe. And um, he's from Scotland. And it's just a hoot to watch. But they... Um, I can't, I think it was the Dodo that did a video on him that I saw on Facebook and it showed him finding Nala, this little baby kitten. And she was about 12 miles from anywhere. And he, and she kept meowing and meowing and following him. And he's like, I can't just leave this kitten here. And so he picks her up and takes her with him and they have been inseparable since, and he has gotten her passport. He's taken her from country to country to country, and um, right now he's in Santorini, Greece, and he is um, spending the summer working as a kayak guide, and Nala 
is this amazing little kitten and she is on his bike and she rides in a, a, a bag that's attached to the front of his bicycle and or she'll ride on his shoulder and he has even gotten her a um, life jacket that and she goes out on the kayak with him and I I wish Tear was as as uh, I want to say tame but not really tame but as as mild mannered as Nala but um, it has been the highlight of my day. And I'll link them down below. I'll link their Instagram account. But it absolutely, 100% makes me smile every single day. And, you know, it's just going through his life and his traveling around the world on a bicycle. And, I mean, some days before he actually settled down in Santorini for the summer, he was sometimes going 50, 70 miles a day on his bicycle, and then staying in hostels across Europe, and it was just, it's an adventure that I would have loved to have done when I was younger, um, had I, had I had that option when I was, you know, either just out of high school or just out of college, I wish I would have taken up traveling when I was younger, but, you know, I didn't start traveling until I was 46, so that was the first time I left the country is when I went to Spain to compete for the first time, so, but, I just, I know at that tangent, but the, that was my Finding 52 and I went all the way back through his Instagram account and was watching all of the, the Instagram videos and all of that kind of thing. And I spent, um, almost an hour and a half just doing that. And then I read for about an hour, but that was my, fi uh, my Finding 52 for this week. And, um, I have, uh, I got my Cocoa Daisy Lemon Grove, which you guys have seen, and um, so that was all last week. And then this week, I have yet to do my Finding 52, but it will most likely be memory keeping. And that was actually what this video was going to be, was me trying to get you guys, showing you how I memory keep, but it is just so disorganized. I'm just like, I can't, I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> I just can't. Like, I need to get through this. So I just kind of put that away for a little while. Um, and then this is this week in here, and I planted some tomatoes, and as you can see, I got my Aura Ring, and it has been working wonderfully. Oh my gosh, so, so well. Um, I had my yoga, and then I did a run on 5K Wednesday, and yes, I ordered a new Chic Sparrow. Um, and I was salty all day on Wednesday. I don't know, the weather and the the high pressure system that's been moving in because now it's all rainy and wet and cold. It was just negatively affecting me all week. And I'm just like, Ugh! so it has not been a good week. So, far. I mean, it's been an okay week, but it has driven me a little crazy. Um, I did get in, um, game time on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday, and I'm hoping to get some in later on today. Uh, as far as my reading goes, I only got some done on Wednesday. We have yet to have date night, but um, I am thinking either tomorrow afternoon or Sunday afternoon, Greg and I are going to go see John Wick, number three. We love John Wick. It's a great series, and sorry, but I love gratuitous violence, and it is awesome. Um, I did do yoga on Thursday and Tuesdays and Thursdays now, and... I did do a little bit of memory keeping today. I just couldn't film it. So I'm just like, oh, no. Um, I'm working on a project right now that um, will eventually be announced here. But I um, I am trying to come do... I know <laughs> this is going to sound crazy because I do not use Weeks kits. But I'm developing a kit for the Weeks for some things that I am doing and, or I'm trying to anyway, to incorporate some of my um, exercise things and some of the tracking for the aura ring and some of the tracking for my sleep and all of this kind of thing. So it's more self-care guided, but um, I'm trying to combine some things that would be a very simplistic uh, sticker set 
for this. And then of course I'm going to have to figure out how to do sticker sets and all this kind of thing. So I don't know yet if it's going to be an insert or stickers or a kit or both. I have no clue, but I'm just working on it right now, trying to get some ideas. And I've been working on that in the evenings um, when I can. Uh, I have not had specific coffee or tea time this week. It's just been crazy. And I still have not gotten to the post office this week. Um, my something new, um, I have not figured out what that is, but I was like, I need to change things up a little bit. And so I'm, I want to add something new, which will probably be tomorrow. Um, and I have watered, I have not needed to water the plants since I planted them on Monday. Um, I have, uh, three regular tomato plants in a pot or in a container. And then I have two cherry tomato plants and they're doing okay. I was worried because it got down to like 40 something today. And so I'm crossing my fingers that they survive this next week and they're going to get awfully wet, but, um, they're kind of pushed back towards the house a little bit. So we're hoping. I have uh, three different pepper plants, the red, the green, and the yellow, um, but they're still in the house. I haven't actually gotten a new big pot to put them in, so I'm going to leave those until this next week because it's supposed to rain every single day. So, hoping that kind of chills out. Um, I did not do a run yesterday, but I did today, and I got my aura ring on Monday. Um, I ordered a canvas tent for um, me to go camping in this summer and for my medieval reenacting. And I got that actually, interestingly enough, through Walmart of all places. And it's kind of like a mountain man rendezvous tent. So I ordered that on Monday. And then my Chic Sparrow passport, which came into, into uh, back into stock. I know, I know, I know. So, but how I go about filling this in is... Uh, so yesterday I made dinner and so I keep all of my stickers in, um, by category pretty much. So like I have them all in this, uh, in different little sections. So this is date night and self care. And I've got most of those in there. Then I have the coffee monsters, co animals and onesies. And <laughs> this is the ridiculous part is I have more of these than anything else. So, but I love them. I cannot help it. I love them. So there's that. Um, this is my happy mail and planner time. And uh, that one's not nearly full. This is my food and coffee meal planning. And I think making, I have the making dinner one in here. That's the baking one, grocery shopping, Ugh, coffee. Um, ah, yes, cooking emojis. Woohoo! So I made dinner last night and I will use one of these. And which one do I want to use? I haven't really used. I'll use this one. So I just kind of work around what I've actually done. And I am one of those people that use, because I have big giant fingers. I usually like to use um, tweezers to put my stickers down because it makes me it makes it easier to see and put down. So I made dinner, cauliflower, call it I put it cauliflower shepherd's pie, and I also did gaming. So some of the stickers I still have in my big giant binder. Um, Gaming ones are one of those that I have in here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. I use the little laptop stickers uh, as my gaming stickers. Even though I, I'm a PC gamer, I'm not a, a console gamer. So... Uh, but the laptop stickers are easily to, easy to come by. And so I usually put that in here. And so I get in the big things that I've done that day. Um, seven days to die. And 7D2D is, is, the, is just the abbreviation for it. With Trent. 
And then today, um, I'm not sure if we're going out tonight or what, um, but if, if we do go, if we stay and watch television in tonight, then I'll use the cuddle, the cuddle one. So, um, but, uh, I, you know, I just kind of go through and see what I want to put in. And if we go on to a movie, I'll use one of these. Uh, making the wish. Uh, and a lot of times, um, like if I do any self-care that are, is like specifically health, self-care, I will put these in. Um, this was me yesterday, and I'm going to pull one of these out. It was the low battery emoji. I pretty much, after I, I had not planned on making dinner, um, but I came home and I was done. I was just done. I didn't do anything else. I was just, I've, I've, I've ended. I'm done. So, and I'm still a little bit done today. So, I... Gonna kind of put him a little worn down. Um, and I'm just writing worn out from hives. Uh, because I have had over a week of Benadryl every night, um, uh, it it knocks me out, but I don't get great sleep. And so even in the morning, I still feel tired. So uh, tonight I should not have to take it. I think my hives have pretty much calmed down enough that I don't have to do that. So I'm just kind of hanging out and, and not really doing much at all. Um, and then I will probably game tonight uh, and finish that up and then see what else that we want to do this evening. Um, my husband doesn't usually get home until about 7.30. And so on Friday nights, I don't know exactly what all we're going to do yet. So I've got, um, just to finish off my other booklets, just so you guys can kind of see how I separate them. I've got pets and chores. Ah, and I did do my, sifted the litter box tonight and changed it all out. So I will pull one of my crazy cat lady stickers out. And yes, I know that's not self-care, but it is care of my children. And to me, because that is my duty. The cats are mine, even though they tend to love on Greg a ton. But um, I change out the litter and all of that. So I usually like to put that in there and then sifted that. So I've got pets and chores, travel and conventions. And so I'll be using some of these when I go to candy shop in October. And this is training and workouts. And um, we have not used many of the bikes this year. So, oh, and I, oh, I don't think I've got room. Oh. So oh, I do have it up at the top. These are the cute yoga ones, which I love. And so I've got the Once More with Love yoga, and then I've got the Coffee Monsters Co. yoga. So I'm going to put this one up here. Since, especially since this was the first week we've done yoga. So sometimes I like to put them over here a little bit, um, and then we'll go from there. And then I've got swimming and biking and then lifting and strength training. So those are what I've got. These all broke. Oh, and superheroes and Harry Potter. So these are the princess ones. And then uh, Deadpool, Black Panther, um, all the Marvel here. Well, mostly Marvel, but she's got Marvel and DC mixed. Wonder Woman and more Wonder Woman. Harry Potter. Um... This, more Harry Potter, Gryffindor, Avengers, uh, more Avengers, 
Um, these are Harry Potter um, die cuts and uh, Wonder Woman stickers that were made for me by for Janet by Janice, which I love. Um, but those are how I keep most of my stickers um, in those little pocket things because it's just easier. And then this is what goes in my bag, and um, these are what I usually keep with me on the go when I need them. Uh, and these are just mostly samplers and things that I use quite a bit. Um, and it did not snow, but it may snow next year, next week. So I'm just like, mm. weather be crazy here. Um, and then, you know, so I've got a lot of different stickers and bits of things that I can use. Um, cleaning in my own, uh, again, that Jenna's made me, and uh, nap time, and sick days, and stamps. So, uh, I've got a lot of different uh, Planner Kate ones in this little pocket, and um, she has just a ton of, like, little boxes and half boxes, and, and uh, they're just, like, little samplers and stuff, so... This is my gold pouch from uh, Mystic's Little Gifts, and it has worked out beautifully well just to house a lot of my stickers. I actually went to, oh my gosh, I'm so, I am such a sticker person. Oh my goodness. Um, I went to a Salesforce um, conference, and well, it was actually just at their office, and they had all these cute little little um, astro pictures or stickers and I'm just like oh my god those are so cute and so I just grabbed you know a couple but this little Einstein is so freaking adorable isn't he cute oh so I had to grab what I could and you know keep him for later so um, but I just keep them in there and the pouch buckles and it is just perfect um but that's what I do in here and I'll fill, finish filling this out um tonight once I know what we're doing um but I also wanted to show you the um Kylie Reichman uh pouch and so this is her week size the weekly size and I just have um the other stickers in here these are the uh, planner Kate ones her little um, mini icons that fit great in the weeks. And then these were, um, I grabbed these from a, from a uh, swap table and I'm not sure what brand they are. Then I've got, uh, these are the samplers from Once More With Love and uh, the Coffee Monsters Co. And I have those in just one of my little field notes, um, little uh, hello things and then again more planner Kate stuff and put these in there the weather and monthly dates and then this is the sampler that I got from Kylie Reichman which, which is Odd Girl Journals on Etsy and this came with the pouch and uh, some extra flags from my Hope and Ichi Weeks and then in the zipper pouch I just have some of my bigger sheets and these were from Pemberley Prints, hello, um, ohello.com, once more love coffee, and um, the convention bucket list, the Coffee Monsters Co., the Rainbow Happy Mail, emojis, the three-year anniversary sale, and this is what uh, the little flags from once more with love that I was using for the fasting, which I'm not using now because I do it every night. But I go into all of that because I wanted to show you, it is so freaking thin. Oh. I love these. This is the first one that I've ever had from her. And um, she, if you have, don't follow her on Etsy, it's a good idea to do so because she'll announce there when she's putting up new um, product. Because right now she'll, she um, takes it down, the pouches, until she has time to make more. But um, I love this so, so much. And it just slips in underneath the string here in the in the weekly because I have my Hobonichi Weeks tucked in the corner there or into the this side and so the back of it is open 
And then this just fits on there and it is a perfect fit. Oh, and these just slide in right there. And uh, then I have the mega flags right in there. And then I put her uh, odd girl journal right there at the top. And then I think I had these splits. Some there, some there. And then my uh, little field notes little guy goes right there. And then these just go into this pocket. And it is so thin. This is actually made from uh, Trader Joe's um, reusable bags. And they are so thin. Oh, I love it. And, I mean, there's hardly anything to it. And I have, I've had cloth uh, inserts with pockets and everything, but they have never been this thin. And there's a lot of stickers in there. And it, all that would do would bulk it out to where I couldn't use it. And yet, this one is so thin, it's just amazing. And so it doesn't change the profile of the weeks or anything like that. And I love it. And so... Uh, that is my self-care in my Hobonichi weeks and my catching you up from April to May and then my Coca Daisy pen and um, you can either tuck that right there and it looks great these are ones uh, some of the pens that I use daily and it's great I love it um, this usually goes in my in my bag in my uh, planner bag but um, yeah I could not be any happier with the weekly cover from uh, with the Maverick, and I love the lightning strikes and everything on there, and that's how I'm keeping up with it, and that's what I do every, every either every night or every couple of nights I'll go in and I'll update, add stickers, and, and do that, and just keep it up, so that's how I do my self-care, and uh, on Monday, I should have my passport odyssey and i will probably be opening that for you guys and i do believe my second kylie reichman will be here on monday too so but it's for a pocket so um but anyway i just wanted to give kind of give you guys um an idea of how i do this um and kind of give you a little bit of different view i'm not good at writing and talking and so that's why you know me doing plan with me's it's never going to work because I, as you can tell, I have to write and then I'm like, uh, let me just write and I'm, there's silence. I can't write and talk. I just can't. I have tried it and it just doesn't work. But, um, you know, I, I usually leave this open on my desk at work and I update it as I go, at least the, the best parts there. And, um, and then I bring my weeks with me and some days I'll do this at work. But most of the time, um, I don't know what my plans are after work. And so, I'll usually update it right before I go to bed. So, there you have my two Hobonichis. And, uh, I, again, I will um, update you guys with my shipments on Monday. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will talk to you later. Bye.